Okay, welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Bant Super Friends. So this is a donation deck here. Um, as that's what that's the DD stands for up there. This was not one that I put together myself, uh, but because um, <clears throat> if you are listening to my uh, set review and everything, I haven't been too excited about Bio and Hydra, but uh, we we got a donation to try this out and. Um, if we're gonna go big with Bioessence Hydro, we might as go really, might as well go really big, right? So we have uh, lots of Planeswalkers, um, six, seven, six, yeah, six different uh, Planeswalkers in here. Um, Cure is basically just going to be untapping permanence. That's basically all Cure is going to be doing. But if we do play the Bioessence Hydro, we get to draw a card. Those two do work pretty well together. I'm I'm a little surprised we don't have. Um, a Johnny the Great Hearted in this deck for like a Johnny to minus like if we're if we're trying to go wide with Dovin and Sahili, a Johnny could put like counters on all of them and then the Raptor could proliferate that. But that's okay. We got we got some uh we got like some Karns instead, try to get that card advantage. Um Vivians can help us find Bio Essence Hydra. And you know, Teferi's just an, an awesome card. It'll be interesting to see how good Sahili is. This is going to be my first time playing Sahili also. So Sahili, Kiora, Bio Essence Hydra, first time for all three of these cards. Um, over in the sideboard, uh, we got got a couple of Teferis to keep other control decks from casting spells at instant speed, and that's always good. Dovin's Veto has been just as impressive as, um, you know, as, as expected. Really, that, that card's been really good so far. And so that's what we got. We got a Band Super Friends deck. 24 lands is a, a little low, but the land where elves help add mana. Uh, as Kanta can help you hit your land drops. Uh, Kiora can help you um, untap lands and everything like that. So basically, we're going to try to make a very large Bio Essence Hydra. Try to have a lot of loyalty in play. Let's see how it works. Let's go to our constructed queue. Bant Super Friends. What card do you think is a sleeper hit in this set? Um, I've been I've been quite impressed by Soren. Um, just in general, I thought Soren was okay, but not I wasn't like real big on it. But from the first two days, it's probably been the card I've been impressed with the most relative to how good I thought the card was. Alright, playing against the red deck. Well, let's get this Woodland Stream in there. I didn't even realize we had a Woodland Stream in the deck. I guess maybe we should have just the blue, blue green guild gate, so I can get the three D art with the guild gate in there. So I think I'm gonna wait on the raptor. Hmm. Maybe. So I have to pay two life just to play this raptor. Is that worth it? Doesn't really seem like it. No, no, that's a 2-3. Alright, we'll do it. We're doing it. You've been playing revamped Grixis Discard with New Bolas, Angrath's Rampage, and Davriel with Ashiok sideboarded. It's been wrecking 8-2 on the day. That's awesome. Yeah, Black Shark, we played it yesterday. Um, if you if you missed that one. Uh, we tried it yesterday. We did not do very well. Uh, I had I was not playing Davriel or Ashiok. Um, just wondering how good those cards are, but uh, you can see my revamped list either on my Stream Decker page or on the YouTube channel. Um, either one. Adelies. Adelies. Hmm. Hmm. 
Start making some 1-1s. One None of these cards particularly do anything. Let's try this one. If it's a challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. Uh, did you miss the new Johnny Gideon deck? Not, not yet. Um, so many decks. I the only Johnny Gideon deck I have right now. Like I'm actually I'm not planning on playing one today. Um, didn't en end up going with that. Like we got a donation to play this deck here. Um, and we had that other donation deck, and I I wanted to try the Mardu and the Grixis deck. So we're going going with those two for today. But uh, I did make a, a cat deck. A Hawkeye's cat deck with a Johnny and Gideon. That one's not as serious, though. Well. Adelise is really mean. Don't think we have any any outs, right? Like, so even if I if I shock in to play Shalai, I don't have another blocker. Yeah. If I play anything else, I can't can't kill the flyer. But it's like I still had all had a lease. Hmm. Well, I guess we need these baffling ends. I can deal with Adelise. Uh, so can binding. Um, Sahili and Kiora <laughs> looked really bad that game. Uh, maybe some Zelda wreckages, some Dovin's Vetoes, some Hydro Crisis. Maybe we can just change this deck for a sideboard in here. Uh, Dovin, you're average. That's 66. Do I have a decent amount of removal? Yeah, we have a decent amount of removal. Hey, Grayson. I don't know if we need all these Dovin, Dovin's Vetoes. And take one out. All right, play first. I will take it. Got our good old blue white control deck here. No, this doesn't have the new Ajani. No, we have not played Mardu Aristocrats. We're playing Bant Super Friends right now. Yeah, I was disappointed we don't have a Johnny. I think a Johnny would work pretty well in here. So it's still not able to play the Search for Escanti yet. I'm going to seal away this Viachino Pyromancer. <laughs> this was, yeah, this I did not put this deck together, 619. This was a, a donation deck to try out on stream. Yeah, Dex, Dex is correct, Crimson. It's just somebody did that a little bit ago. You know, like, you know, 20 seconds ago or something. So it just takes a little bit. The the pages there you go streamdecker.com slash dex slash Todd Stevens MTG to always find it too. Hey Yud, what's up? Let's 
keep removing everything. <clears throat> and if there is an Adelise, we'll be able to binding that so then just can never have any more Adelises. More wizards. <laughs> yeah, we're a Bant prison deck. Out the actually have to tap the white source to play that seal away and just throw in the search for a scanto away to just put it in the graveyard to help transform the other one. Hey, spare time hero. Take that. Thank you. There you go. Got an Ilhog. For... Oh man, Ilhog is sweet. Oh yeah, if our opponent has destroy all enchantments, <laughs> that would be real rough. Hinterland Harbor. We'll go ahead and send that to the graveyard. Looking for just kind of other spells. All right, so no more Adelises ever. Graveyard. Okay. Not bad. I'll take a Dovin. Yeah, I mean, these are all win cons. Get to Lava Runner, Viachino, Pyromancer. They have a bunch of burn spells. Yeah, Adelise is not their only win con. I don't have room for a donation deck today, no. Because uh, we have... We have two already, and the, the Mardu and the Grixis I really want to try out today. Uh, tomorrow I got room, though. Can do it any... Any one of the four times tomorrow. Hey, Aku, LOL. Going good, going good. Alright, that's our deck. Or, I mean, that's our card. We don't have Planeswalkers out right now, but I'm still I'm still keeping this card. It's still just a 4-4. Four -four for right now. Uh, best deck we've played so far? Probably the... Probably the Gruul mid-range deck we played yesterday. I think the Aristocrats deck we're going to play after this is really good. We also played an, an Orzhov deck. Yesterday, those are all good. All right, our prison deck worked out in game two. We'll see how we uh, do for game three here.
Um, want to change anything? Nope, looks good. All right, game three. Let's see if we can pull it off. I don't like this hand. I don't like the the two Vivian. We're chipping this. Our mana was okay. So it's kind of awkward of you know playing Landwar off you know basic force Landwar off turn one means that we're two two turns away from Dovin's vetoing, but we would still be two even if we went with these we'd still be two turns away from Dovin's vetoing anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and just play the Glacial Fortress because that that was gonna come into play tapped, so let's just get that in play. Can't play anything anyway. Yeah, Cruel Celebrant looked good. Dreadhorde Butcher looks really good too. Hey, Dodger Dog, happy Friday. All right, no attacks from our opponent there. Um, so which one do we want to do? Do we want to Baffling End the Hydra or keep Dovin's Veto up? We can only do one of the two. Go baffling end. I, I'm kind of expecting like Adelie's next turn, and then you know we can't really even veto Adelie's. But it's it's. Do I need to save the baffling end for the Adelie's though? Maybe not. Hey, monster sock. You've been in love with Emergent Zone. Okay. Ooh, Krasis is a good draw. Just cycle. So I would like to be able to play Teferi, tick up untap two lands for, to have Dovin's Veto available, and then afterwards untap and slam this Bio Essence Hydra. They can have a whole lot of counters on it. Which I think that's that's the plan. So that's that's what we're going to be doing here. I keep up the pace. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. Come seal away. Come seal away. Come seal away. Pyromancer. So this Bioessence Hydra is going to have a lot of loyalty. <laughs> this Hold is, that thought. This is gonna be crazy. All we did was just untap with the Teferi. Look, it's a ten ten. That's so big. That's so big. <laughs> ten ten trample, and then we have counter spell backup. Sorry, opponent. I think I should have countered that. All right, so we tick up, put another counter on this. We need to move quickly. Boom. 
Hey, Zephyrs. Good morning. Or, or evening, or afternoon, wherever you are. It's afternoon here. Early evening. Oh yeah, our opponent was super stuck on lands. All right, so turning into Bant Control worked out pretty good. Uh, post sideboard there for us. And Bio Essence Hydra looked really cool. When our opponent, you know, is on turn, you know, six or seven or one of those, and our opponent still, like, didn't have anything and only had two lands, then our Bio Essence Hydra was really good. <laughs> All right, we can keep this. Ooh. We are curving out. We got turn two Kiora, turn three Hydra. That is a curve. Why do I love Krakens? Oh, just can't. We don't want to untap anything. We don't want to use a loyalty. <laughs> We want Pure to have as much loyalty as possible. Whenever we play this Hydra next turn. To clam up. Um, so add a mana. Untap. I love to make a splash. All right, <laughs> nine nine Trampler plus ETB draw card. That's pretty good. Has the ETB draw card because of Fiora. Oh, there's Chupacabra ruining all, all our fun. Mean old Chupacabra. Something smells fishy here. Yeah, Gruel Midrange is a good stable deck to craft. Yep. <laughs> it quite literally replaced itself. Wow. They took something over... Something over Vivian and Shalai. So I would like to seal away this thing. That means I don't get to play my Hydra, though. So if I seal away, I can go seal away Rap Raptor. Placebo Elf. Welcome to the channel, Elf. Thank you very much for that Twitch Prime sub. Let's go. First sub of the day. All right. How are we doing this? We probably need to uh, seal away Raptor. So let's, let's play this. Get a counter back on there. Pass turn. <laughs> they took a Kiora. And you look like lunch. Let's get moving. Bios and Hydra. 9 9 ETB draw card. Uh, 
I think a chupacabra is not just a dog. Like, I think it's something a lot more... Like, this art just kind of makes it look like a dog. I mean, it looks like a dog with the art, but... I think it's a, a lot meaner. No, I have not made a Ral Infinite combo deck. That's not really the kind of magic I like too much. So. I'll probably only be playing one of those for a don like if somebody donates for for that. That'll probably be the only reason, the only way, or like the only reason for me to have a Ral Infinite combo deck. Hydro Crasis gets to draw an extra card? It doesn't even need to. <laughs> Leave my squids alone. We need more creatures with power 4 or greater for this Kiora. No, no plants for sealed. Corn lover, just just going with. Just going with standard. Hey, James. With the bonus for a legend. Thank you so much, James. So many standard decks to play. Too many standard decks, too little time already. Time to ebb from battle. Um, this song title is kind of long. Let's see if this works. Ah, another land. So, we get to make some really big creatures, but Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, those things are pretty good. So let's get Baffling Ends, Binding, Disdainful Stroke, absolutely, our own Krasis, and hmm. Get rid of those raptors. This card seems really unnecessary in this deck. But like cuz like what's our our best case scenario is like we add a, we play this and we add a counter to something, but it's just going to you know, can maybe trade with like a, a branch walker. It's just not going to do anything for us. From one Kiora, one Sahili, and hmm. We have seven two mana removal spells there. I'm gonna get rid of one of them and just go with six. Flux Channeler? What does Flux Channeler do? So today's menu, um, if you're talking about food, I'm eating, I'm eating some, uh, some mac and cheese right now. If you're talking about Magic, you can see up here what we got. Ooh, three mana wizard. 
Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, proliferate. <laughs> I think it's flux capacit uh, capacitor. Yeah, there we go. Flux capacitor. Thank you, James. So, Sahili time. Prepare to marvel at my masterpieces. Boo. We need to start making jump blockers for the Sahili. Something special for you. Well, we get one chum blocker. Not to brag, but my friends kind of a one drop ripples and grows. I would like to counter that, please. And now we get an extra chump blocker. Perfect. Mm, shall I let Kiora take it? I'll match you drop for drop. So if they hostage taker the the Hydra, we would be able to tuck the hostage taker. It's definitely considering just tucking the wild growth walker and then we get two blockers for like the two creatures instead. I must accept defeat for now. All right, Krasis enters, draws three. Yeah, Gideon was awesome in that Orzhov deck. Yeah, Gideon was great. rid of Krasis. Like, what, what would they again. rather have than Krasis? I don't understand. Trust me. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Yeah, I guess they, they want to land, I guess. Yeah. Gates of Blaze is not banned. There's a there's a weekend format. It's an arena only format that you just can't play Gates of Blaze in. Like a, it's not it has nothing to do with standard. So they have fine finality. And they want to get it's back. It's only a matter of time. The Jade Light, maybe? No. So they have removal for Krasis, and then they get to the attack with Thief. We'll be able to seal away the Thief. Which it looks like. That's what we got going on here. I only pick targets that interest me. I want to don't flatter yourself. 
my favorite of the gods. Probably like, I mean, I just, I like Ilharg a lot. Like, Ilharg's really cool. Um, I was really impressed with Ronus whenever we were playing the Gruul deck yesterday. Ronus was just really good. game Ow. Hmm. Guess I'm putting that over so we get the as can't, uh... Not a bad turn for us, you know, getting a Teferi and the Plyos and Hydra. And I will take that trade. We don't need that other Ascanta. I'll take that. Uh, dang it, they gotta find. They gotta find. I thought they were just gonna grab Jade Light and. Like Jade Light and Krasis. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. That counts whenever they eat, enter? I guess I didn't really realize that. You need to take a time out. I look well, that's forward cool. to seeing your mistakes. This you know, I, I knew like they got counters whenever you ticked genius. up, but I didn't really realize that you got counters whenever the planeswalkers enter. That that counted also. They, sh they should just be playing Hydro Crisis this next turn. Let's let's get let's attack here. We will meet again. Will we? To my victory. Hmm. That thing's pretty big. Not gonna lie. So if I if I copy the the Hydra with this thing, it we don't get the loyalty or we don't get the the plus one plus one counters. Um. So I could take up and make that a 17. Good assault. Yeah, we could we could copy the Hydra and then uptick Dovin, and then Dovin gets one counter and makes the makes that a 5-5, five five, but we still can't attack through the 7-7. Seven seven. 
and then it's just until end of turn, so it would go it would go away again. This outcome surprises even me. No removal. Ooh, no removal. Yeah, it would keep the counter. So like it, we would untap and it'd be like a, a two two. Then plus after we hit, it would be a three three. After we untap with it. Uh, target an artifact or creature you control. This. I know how to stop you. Okay. Now it gets five counters. That's a nine nine. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. So we got 30 trample. I think our deck kind of did it. I think we did it. I'll be <laughs> Get that out of here. I think we did it. Okay, we really did it. Nice, pay that for life. <laughs> so they paid the for life to to tap the under um lich, so we get to take we get to steal it. Put into negative twenty four. All right, that that bio essence hydra turns out to be kind of busted. That thing was a, a little busted there. Just, just a little busted. A little busty. Have you seen any War of the Spark cards step out a lot of a lot? Yeah, we've been last yeah last couple yesterday today we've been playing tons of War of the Spark cards. Um, There's just so many good ones. This this set is just awesome. There's just been really enjoying the set. Okay, keep this. Yeah, so Bioessence Hydra is definitely better than I realized because I didn't realize. Yeah, you know, admittedly, I di I didn't realize that whenever. You have it in play and you just play a planeswalker that counts as the planeswalker gaining all those loyalty um, amounts i did not realize that let's take this land war off out of here We did. We we played uh, the Hydra turn three, the first game of this this one. We had turn one Land War Elf, turn two Kiora, uh, turn turn three Hydra, draw a card. We still lost that game, but that was cool. So they can play more lands, but they don't have more lands. I do may regret that choice. Give me more cards. Ooh, give me that Vivian. I want that Vivian. No, Vivian. Ooh, Teferi. Um should probably grab that Vivian though. Return! Return!
So I'm just playing the Vivian mostly because our How opponent knows can't about it. Stop nature. Alright, the Golgari Your Queen. Won't be quick. Oh, can kill my seal away so they get a land or elf back, or can kill the baffling end and give them a dino. They can kill something. Alright, they want the dino. Pity we couldn't have been allies. Do we find a Hydra? Alright, not a Hydra yet. Good choice. Um How do we want to do this? Play that, that, this. Five more cards. Skip to the good part. More cards. It was probably going to die anyway. We don't have enough cards. some water all right now I'm not dying anymore I'm not losing everything again yeah I have a good good gruel list uh, you can find it in the in my decks there you can also see the video of it on the YouTube channel from yesterday it was really good check it out either place All right, where's our Hydra? We're gonna the find a Hydra sometime. Are my Ugh, still no Hydra? We've ticked up so much. No time for a break. Still no Hydra. Um, looks like we're gonna be discarding some lands. Hey, welcome back, Shane. Thank you so much for that, Arisa, for four months. Yeah, we doing constructed. Hmm. We kinda kinda have nothing though. Yeah, kinda kinda got nothing going on. There's a hydra. Discard that, 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 that. All right, second sub of the day. Everyone with Soren, yeah, we played an Orzov deck yesterday with Soren, um, and our Mardu Aristocrats that we're going to be playing up next features three Soren in the main deck, and it's really good there. Man, this Hydra is about to be so big. So big. All right, let's... One, two, three, four, five, plus four. Perfect. So that means I'm not playing Kiora if I play Binding plus Hydra. Oh, well. I want that thing out of here for good. I want this thing being some large amount. 22, 22. Yeah, that one. Let's make it 23. Meet my newest friend. Let's make it 24. You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm gonna go grab my disdainful stroke. Nothing is ever truly lost. So that chupacabra, hostage taker, that kind of stuff. I won't forgive this. 
we got that covered. So that's a 24-24 that next turn, oh no, next turn is going to be like, what, a 40? So if we, we could give it plus 7 by playing this Kiora to make it 31, plus 7 by playing the other Kiora to make it 38. We could tick all three of our Planeswalkers up. We could make it 41-41. Wow. All right, maybe this Bio Essence Hydra is a real card. Maybe it is. We are 2-0. Oh. Alright, Kiora into Hydra. Perfect. They're not likely going to have a tapped creature for me to seal away this turn. We need to give the Hydra haste. Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, Serpents. Oh, I love them all. Don't, don't adapt your Growth Chamber Guardian. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. All right, so Kiora is going to be at two loyalty whenever we play this next Hydra, or whenever we play this first Hydra, I guess. You're making me crabby. Yeah, that's that's rude. Elf crab, you're making Kiora rise. crabby. Elf crab. Uh, Floor, Florin, with the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the channel. Thank you so much for that subscription there. Sub number three of the day. <laughs> yeah, Kiora, Kiora's good with puns. <laughs> uh, is Kiora a Naga is the question, or a Merfolk? I believe Merfolk. A, I think she's pretty happy. I think she's a Merry Folk. Hmm. So I can either make this one Hydra super big, nah, or play another Hydra. We'll play another Hydra first. I love to make a so honestly trading like if I attack they could double block and trading my 6-6 six, six for their 4-4 four, four, and 2-1 is just not a good trade for me so 1-2-3-4 uh, we needed to draw a land there which I guess we still can we could still draw a land here evil must not be tolerated so give us a land please no, we need a land. Because if, if we would hit a land, we could untap a, with Kiora and play another Karn and give another plus six, plus six, and make them both 18, 18 tramplers. Um, but that's 24 trample. I don't know how they're blocking, but it's probably not, it's probably not good for them. I mean, well... If we drew the, I mean, if we had the land, it's lethal. This is this is not going to be lethal. Because 24, they can save 7 life, right? Oh my gosh. Never mind, it's lethal. They just not read that as trample? Like, they could have blocked with a bunch of things and wiped their board. Hmm. What do we want to do? We want to get rid of these Huatli's Raptors, the 
are not necessary at all. Let's get more removal. Maybe some settles. We go D sixty two. I don't need Dovin. Nah, probably Sahili. So we're taking out one Sahili and one Shalai, one Dovin, one Kiora. One Dovin. All right, head to FNM or Sonic. Let let us know. Let us know in the Discord channel in the FNM uh, room how you did and everything, what you're playing, how how it went, and we'll see you tomorrow. You swap New Huatli for Sahili. What, what does New Huatli do? Play this. If they, I mean, if they play it correctly, I'm not going to actually be able to seal away this growth chamber guardian. I don't remember exactly what I read the Hydra in the review, but yeah, it's it's definitely better than I thought it was. Because as as I said, like I, I didn't realize that whenever you play a planeswalker, it gained all the loyalty. There, that's that's really that makes it really big. I know it had keyword big, but I didn't realize it had like keyword biggest on it. I guess I try to settle for two of these things. Simic Ascendancy seems really unnecessary. Whenever you have a large Hydra, you, the Hydra just kills them. I don't really see Simic Ascendancy doing anything. Getting those out of there does make it a lot easier for our Kiora to survive. Ooh, they only had one other basic. Alright, I like Shalai. I can play Shalai here. I can do that. Yeah, they put the 1 1 counter on the Growth Chamber Guardian, which means they weren't able to adapt, but they did get a. You know, they got a new Guardian, so it's basically like adapting. Subtle and Cleansing Nova are, you know, better at different times. It's hard to say 
which card is better, Settle or Cleansing Nova. Sometimes. Sometimes Settle is, sometimes Nova is. Of that laser. So, Karn's good at getting, helping us get lands. So, next turn, if we can hit a land drop with the help of Karn or whatever, we can play Kiora minus untap a land and have settle the wreckage up again. Time wipe's pretty interesting. Um, the Jeskai mid range deck that I have that we're going to play later has some time wipes um, in the sideboard to basically, you know, try that card out, see. See how it goes. Mind if I take my octopus for a walk? What? What was lost is now returned. Let's get moving. Yeah, it does seem time wipe should exile, doesn't it? Hmm. That Vivian surprised me. Every fight makes me stronger. No one knows the wilds like I do. Tick up. Not down. All right, not down. We ticking up. All right, time to make a big Hydra. Big Hydra time. Woo. Hmm. Didn't leave a, a white mana un untapped. All right, so that's 15. Nature flows with vigor. Sixteen. Are you certain of your decision? Ah! Strike me, and you strike nature. This is not let's do this again. See if they we'll see if they can kill us. Ah, they had to have two mana removal. Because if, if it was any more, then they couldn't adapt the, the druid also. But two mana lets them adapt the druid. So my bad. I I could have helped save that by just minusing the Karn. I thought I was safe. So I should have minus the Karn. That was my fault.
That was my fault. Could have just minus two the car and made another blocker. Our opponent was really dead the next turn. Ugh. Well, I mean, they had the cast down for our thing, so they were not really dead, to be fair. Dang. Yeah, Stream Decker can be really slow at times whenever there is um, a lot of traffic. Attack! At least we can keep them from having so many, you know, like, they got to go get all four of their Growth Chamber Guardians. And that was pretty annoying fighting through all of those. With the Baffling Ends, we can keep that from happening. The choices we make reveal who we are. So next turn I'm going to minus, grab the Teferi, play the Teferi, tick up, hold up, seal away. Seems reasonable. Ow. Your efforts are futile. Yeah, J Light Ranger. Futile. Hmm. I think we got a new plan. Growth Chamber Guardian's really annoying. What Just want to get that thing out of here. Creature. Let's see how you work. Still gonna grab the Teferi over Your making like another artifact or anything else. Just to, to make sure we have this Teferi. <laughs> I have not tried Oketra yet. Oketra, I mean, looks really strong and everything. We just we haven't had we haven't made a Oketra deck yet. I didn't. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Hmm. Let's tuck this Vivian. Let's slow this down. Let's take it back. A curious choice. If we play Hydra and copy Hydra with the, the you know, the token here, it just turns into a 4-4. Four, four. It wouldn't kill Vivian. We would be able to tick up Karn and make it a 5-5. Five, five. But, again, it wouldn't actually kill Vivian. Because whenever you, whenever you copy it, which I'm going to do that right now. Do I See, that's a 4-4. Four, four. Now? now we can take up against a counter. Hurry! Good choice.
So now that thing's a 3 3. And next turn we can copy again and then play Vivian and. Yeah. So if they play their Vivian, they're dead. So let's hope they play Vivian. Play Vivian. Play Vivian. How could we lose from here? It definitely starts with removal. You know, they got to kill Hydra. Oh, they're... So they need to find cast down. So I guess they're... Maybe they just don't have cast down and they're cycling for a cast down. Dang, they found it. <clears throat> they're very dead without that. We have a Lanwar Elf and a Karn over here. You know what? I'm not done yet. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Not bad for a mouse. Yeah, not bad. Just take another artifact. Allow me. To a friend of mine. Hitting hard with artifacts. Hard effects. <laughs> it's a really colorful look, you know, it's like blue and red, blue and white, green, colorless. Colorful planeswalkers over there. You know, definitely looks like we're a four-color deck, even though we're only a three-color deck. Rainbow Super Friends. How do you use your Prime to sub? You just have to, you have to um, link your, you know, Amazon Prime and, Twi and to Twitch, so you, you get Twitch Prime. And then it's just a, an option to to subscribe. You're already subscribed right now, Rex, so you won't be able to use it. You'd have to wait until your subscription goes away, and then it should be an option to subscribe. I I believe you could Sahili could copy the Karn token and make it bigger. We didn't need to do that, but and you know, it's only until end of turn kind of thing. Raptor I forgot we have these in the deck, so we board them out every time. Hey, Firean. Thank you so much, fi uh, yeah, Firean. Welcome to the channel. Enjoy the 22 awesome emotes. Looks like we are not playing against a creature deck for the first time here. And unfortunately, all of our good at Two mana exile removal spells which have been really good against all these creature decks. They're not going to be very good against this teamer deck. <laughs> I defy gods. Defying you will be easy. We don't have two blue mana for Sahili, so it makes our choice really easy what to play. Oh. Well. Well. Can we have that? Can we tap that thing somehow? One drop 
ripples and grows. The choices we make reveal who we are. So unfortunately that thing has vigilance. That's really, really annoying. I have not tried Evolution Sage. Ah, Magic Player from Sweden. Well, welcome. Oh, Tubei, did we just play against you last game? Oh, and you took out all your Vrasis Contempts? No, against our Planeswalker deck? Ah. Oh. Sorry, GG's though. We should discuss our differences. The ocean surges, life thrives. Are you certain of your decision? Look at that tiny little gatebreaker ram. It's so cute. Just this tiny little sheep. Hmm. <laughs> Itty bitty wham. I'll make use of that laser. Ah, give me the blue mana. Jerk. Of course, not being serious about that. Splash. I love a good challenge. This should be fun. This is gonna be a lot of counters. Uh, yeah, all four of those, please. <laughs> Oh, that's silly. Guess I'm going to attack for 21. Blackjack. <laughs> those will those will baby whams. Couldn't handle it. <clears throat> so maybe this is a creature deck. Sad hand. What's going on? <laughs> this is pretty great. <laughs> um, so we don't need July. So both Shalai and the Raptor. I could play Krasis. I kind of want play this Teferi. Seal away for Krasis and the 8-8 creature. The, yeah, whatever that name of that 8 8 thing is. Yeah, Sealway doesn't work on Ram, but it works on all their other creatures. We don't really have any disenchants besides this binding. Yeah, I've definitely considered Davriel in Discard deck for sure. I um, actually have a, a donation to make an, a, a standard 8-rack deck right now that I'm going to base around Davriel. It's like, what what else I'm going to do around Davriel has been a little bit of a challenge, but Davriel is going to be a big, it's going to be the main part of it. Yeah, Cure has been okay. I mean, the, the Hydra, Matthew, I know that you love the Hydra. The Hydra has been... 
much better than I thought it was. I didn't realize that the Hydra gained counters whenever you play a Planeswalker. I didn't realize that counted as a acquiring... You know, like adding loyalty for it. Let's dive right into battle. Did not realize that before this league. Hmm. Attack. No. Let's get moving. Let's go four, draw two, plus if it resolves, we draw another one. Resolve. Sweet. Draw another. Oh, yeah. Cure just makes Krasis even better. It's like, <laughs> Krasis doesn't need to be better. All right, you got me. You got me. Well, let's play this here, 10 10. Nature flows with vigor. I don't think they're gonna be able to gate to blaze away a 10 10. What is this thing? Um. None? Alright, life totals four. Hmm. So basically, you hope they don't have Banefire. Like, Banefire is the one card that can kill us here. Oh, that's... But I control that. Dang it, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I, was realizing that, I was realizing that as it was on the stack. That's not gonna work. Whoops. Oh, well, I'm discarding my, my hand anyway. So that binding when I've done anything anyway. Yeah, you cannot Ixalan's binding your own captive audience. Like, when it was on the stack, I was like, wait a minute, that's not going to work. And then, obviously, but it was, I already played it, and so it was, it was on its way to the battlefield, and it entered the battlefield, and I was like, yep, that didn't work. <clears throat> well, I, I just wanted the binding, I wanted the Ixalan's binding on the battlefield instead of in my graveyard. That's what we were doing there. All right, 4-0. Y'all know what that means. That means that we are on to the final boss with an extra life. 
Yeah, it was all planned. This Hydra has been so much better than I thought. Yeah, we played two decks with Vivian Arcbow in the sideboard yesterday, but we never drew Arcbow in any match. Yeah, we actually got to go over... Like, the Gates creatures are usually the biggest things. When they have two Rams in play and they can't even do anything. That crazy. What? Mono blue. Why why you do this? Why can't that just be like a flyer that can block with Dovin? Yay! No curious obsession! Hooray! Time to start getting these counter spells out of their hand. What? Mono Blue doesn't play Judith? He should. If I was playing Mono Blue, I'd play Judith. We played Mono Red Crisis. You can play Mono Mono Blue Judith. Cancel? Cancel? Wow, Karn, you were canceled. Got. Yeah, they canceled Karn, and then Karn was like, no, but, but, and they're like, no retort. Karn's like, aw. Hmm. If only we got to already sideboard out our Huatli's Raptor. Unfortunately, it's in our deck. Quench. We've taken out the Huali's Raptor every single match for, like, you know, baffling ends. If only that was, like, an actual baffling end. Right about now. Time wipe. Not a time wipe. Okay. Sideboard in. Raptors out. No, you back out. You back in. So this is 70. Sahili making 1-1 one, one ground creatures doesn't matter. That can go. And Ixalan's Binding's expansive, but it's like a must counter kind of thing. Is it a must counter? I don't know. It's a removal spell. Removal spells are kind of cool. Kiora. Hey, welcome back, Depot 4. Thanks for that resub there, Depot 4. Fifth sub of the day. So we have a lot of, like, expensive Planeswalkers that aren't amazing. Just kind of where do we want to go with them? Karn... It's probably my least favorite. I don't really like Cure that much either. Cure doesn't really doesn't do very much. I mean it it does its thing. Settle is really difficult to resolve. And also they get to have like their one drop counter settle. So the other four cards were taken out. One of those. One more of these. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take the settles out and one more Kiora. The good part, the best part about settle is that you do get to cast it on your opponent's spell, so they have to use mana on their own turn to counter it, and then you get to hopefully untap and you know resolve something else. Like it, it always gets countered, but at least gets countered on your opponent's turn. That's that's the real good thing about that card. Yeah, you could have Veto back up for Settle. But again, remember, the, their one mana card, uh, whatever it's called, um, that like flying pirate, that thing counters Settle the Wreckage. Uh, Storm Tamer, yeah. Siren Storm Tamer can just. Like this thing just counters. Because that. Because Settle targets them. Um, July doesn't help you in that regard. No mana past turn. Ooh, called it. Called it. Wild ant feet. Ah, not again. So they have one land and we have a Vivian. Did not see that deck at all, card shot. I don't know anything about it. Come to me. Let's go ahead and baffle in that little merfolk. Thank you. So we're looking for Hydra Crisis or Bio Essence Hydra. One of those things. You can't stop nature. Hydra. We'll just play the 8 8 that should help kill our opponent. Yeah, this 8-8, eight, eight, I think, has been, like, our smallest Hydra. <laughs> we have, I mean, I guess we, we did, we have played a Hydra without anything on the battlefield. We have played 4-4 four, four Hydra, but it's been about as small as it goes. So, like, they, they are basically looking for Tricksters, right? But every time they play a Trickster, then we get to resolve something else. Oh, yeah, it'd be bigger than Galt if, if the Teferi re resolved. Mm -hmm. Teeny weeny Hydra. Yonder Brack, way to go. Got the diamond. Good job. Right, so can we get them game three on the draw? We had like a perfect hand and their hand was horrible. Put those together, we easily won. Can we actually have something like that again? I mean, I, I love having Lanor Elf, so I think I'm keeping this. They scry theirs to the top after mulliganing to six. Our most important card, of course, is this Bio Essence Hydra. Yeah, certainly the worst part about the hand is the mana base that we currently have. Ooh. I don't think I go for Escanta. I think let's just get this land war elf in play. <laughs> Raul, welcome back. Thanks for resubbing there with the Twitch Prime sub. Hmm. Let's play this out of spell pierce range. And quench range.
So I was thinking about playing the Bioessence Hydra to see if we draw a land we could double spell next turn, but it has to be a white source, so it's not even that likely that we're going to be... Um, It's not even very likely that we're going to have a white source necessarily. There's no accounting for luck. You're doing Maybe me a favor. Maybe yours will hold. The facts can't be denied. I am beaten. Can't be denied. I just want this Shalai to resolve. I also kind of want to play around Quench. We saw a Quench game one. I will take that trade, thank you. Yes, Blast Zone is good against Mono Blue, but we haven't really been seeing anybody actually play Blast Zone. We're gonna run out of counter magic sometime. Used a black a blast zone on your arc bow. Rude. Perfect. Great draw there. Even when it gets countered, we get to draw two. Great draw step. Alright, kind of testing them. They're going to run out of counters eventually. How is that? I don't feel like that's very good, right? Like they can reveal a counter spell and play it. So they save the trickster with the storm tamer. Then they definitely cannot counter the Shalai. Yeah, they have like opt in charter course. Oh, well, there we go. Finally.
Ow. Hey, Callie, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. That was third third month in a row? You are amazing, Callie. We're just three months now. Thank you. Yeah, Deckmaster working again. Time to start attacking. And we finally resolved Shalai and we finally won. That's going to do it. Five and oh. Nice five win league for Bant Super Friends. All right, so this, you know, this was not a deck that I made myself, as, we, as I mentioned. Um, A donation to play this, but it was it was definitely surprising. Uh, I I did not expect this deck to be as good as it was. Um, the Bio Essence Hydra in particular was just awesome. That card was that card was so good. So why was Kefnet in our opponent's deck? I guess to to copy Opt and Charter Course. I guess and just be a a big flyer. Um, this was Julius donated this one. Thank you, Julius. So yeah, Bio Essence Hider was awesome. Um, as far as the deck go, the Huali Raptor was the worst card by Miles. I, w I would not recommend playing Huali's Raptor in this deck. I didn't... I didn't really love Dovin or Sahili too much. Or really Shalai. I mean, well, I mean, obviously, Shalai just won us that last one, but, um, but maybe like as just like a two drop. I think I'd rather have like Tithe Taker if you want like a two drop. I think you you need a, a better defensive two drop in there, or just just playing the removal, just playing like you know playing like a control deck, playing the baffling ends in the main. We we just wanted the baff baffling ends against everybody basically. Um, Evolution Sage is I don't know just. Also f fits in your three drop slot, which is the problem with that. Um, put in four opt instead of raptors. No, no, the the baffling ends were really good for us, and just having all the removal was good. I kind of want to just like have like the removal in the main deck with like all this anti control stuff in the board. Um, no, you don't. You don't need a Karn's Bastion. Uh, the man is already kind of tough with this deck with having like land or elf and Sahili. I don't think you really need a colorless land. Um, so yeah, ba basically what I would recommend is just getting rid of these raptors, getting the baffling ends in the main deck. And maybe, you know, like maybe like a second binding, you know, like we, we always wanted like those cards. So maybe go from here, and then you got four sideboard slots to play with, with, you know, whatever you want to add in. Or, I mean, honestly, like, Krasis was just awesome. Like, never mind. We need to get some more Krasis in here. Because Krasis is just awesome. Like, this... Krasis is great with Kiora. It was great with everything. Like, Krasis is... Krasis is just messed up. Like, that needs to be... The card's just messed up. 
It really is. It's great with QR2. And then, uh, yeah, Sahili and Dovin could certainly trim those. But the problem is, like, getting the more Planeswalkers you get rid of, the, the worse Hydra gets. I could certainly just see playing Krasis over Shalai, though. You know, you can play Krasis as for four mana. It's not as good at Shalai as four mana, but... So maybe something like that, and then you have ten, ten sideboard slots for what... Or, sorry, you have five sideboard slots for whatever you want over here. I liked to I liked the, the Time Raveler. Settles were good. Um, Dovin, at least on its own, can make tokens. You know, Sahili doesn't... When you play it, it doesn't do anything. You have to, like, after you play it, then play some other stuff to, like, start making, like, one token. You know, we're, we're not... Sahili's going to be better in, like, blue decks that are playing, like, a bunch of... Um, cantrips and everything like that let's go back to our regular playlist uh you don't really we have the dovin's vetoes that do the job of negate yeah you could play gideon to give lifelink to a big hydra you could do that i uh, did we we played against blue red wizards, not mono red? Yes, you can craft Gideon. Gideon's awesome. We had some three cost to fairy over here. Think about Oath of Teferi. I don't I don't think you need Oath of Teferi, Julius. Oath of Teferi is just you know, another five drop. You really don't need any more five drops. Um, and there's a lot of times where we weren't really activating planeswalkers. I guess it, I mean, how many? Uh, at least, yeah, two or three maybe for Gideons. Anyway, uh, that was a different question about like how many should, should craft. Anyway, so there's Band Super Friends. Um, you know, you, you can kind of kind of try this out with uh, like whatever you want to do with the sideboard. Um, but basically, just wanted to get rid of those Huali's Raptors, get more removal in there. The removal was honestly really good for us all the time. And I don't I don't know exactly what to do with the sideboard. You can kind of play with it there and see whatever whatever you uh, prefer. Oh yeah, I wanted a Johnny in here. Yeah, yeah, I would recommend a Johnny if not in the main, at least in the sideboard. A Johnny is just pretty busted against mono red. If you want like a a really good card against mono red, a Johnny gives you that. It gives your Hydra Vigilance, which is cool. Um, plus you can, you know, minus, and if you have, if you, if you did make a uh, good, if you have been going wide with these things, you can minus and put a bunch of counters on stuff. Putting counters on a bunch of stuff is really good with BioS Insider too. Yeah, I mean, Johnny's just awesome. I could certainly see playing a Johnny over one of these three Mana Planeswalkers as well. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, new Teferi's over here on the board for yeah against control decks um and yeah you could have gideon could be your other sideboard card against control like gideon's just awesome against control too so maybe get a couple of those to go with your yeah maybe just play a couple of those there we go more planeswalkers all right no elves is miles better than mox amber Mox Amber doesn't do anything until, like, turn four, at best. Um, you know, like, you have to, you know, you have to have, like, these three and four mana, three, four, five mana Planeswalkers out. I mean, it doesn't even do anything with Karn. You would have to have a Dovin, a Sahili, a Kiora, a Teferi, or a Vivian in play for Mox Amber. There's only five cards in the deck that even do anything with Mox Amber. It's just going to be a dead card, basically, all the time. It It's basically zero mana artifact with no text. So don't don't play Mox Amber. All right, so uh, that's Band Super Friends. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, go ahead and try out some Bio Essence Hydra. This, is, you know, this card looked a lot better than I thought it would. Um, it was awesome. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.